Grafton Street was once upon a time, I believe, a country lane. Now it is, of course, festooned, I suppose the fair word to describe it, on both sides with boutiques, with fancy shops, where the gentry and gentility of the outer suburbs can come in to uh, display themselves as though they were part of the 18th century scene. Perhaps we oughtn't to be too cynical. Perhaps it is a sign of continuity in Dublin life. Well, Grafton Street is very nice, and there's very, an awful lot of lovely pubs off it. Well, Grafton Street is a, a fabulous street, too. As a matter of fact, it's supposed to be the fashion of the street in Dublin. And it's a place, well, it's different now. When I was a young man, it was very, the very near wouldn't let you into Grafton Street. You can buy stuff twice as cheap in the other part of Dublin than you can in Grafton Street. I think uh, in Dublin City, there's too many beggars. As a matter of fact, there's only two days in the year when there's no flag days in it. The guards are an impressive force, big men, suggesting bogland scenes in the centre of gas and petrol fumes suggesting also comfort and stability. They are not a frightening police force, and now that they've been equipped with white batons, they suggest even a touch of Montmartre, a rather interesting combination with the Irish rural scene. In harsher times, when wages were lower, it was said that the Clark's midday meal was a walk around Stephen's Green and a cigarette. Now in this welfare age, it is pleasant as you stroll through Stephen's Green looking at the statues of busts of patriots to see sitting there, relaxed, at their ease, the well-fed, happy citizens of Dublin enjoying the birds on the lake and the trees and the view that makes up St. Stephen's Green, which was incidentally once upon a time a near swamp. Stephen's Green, there in, in the heart of a city having a lo lovely piece of green grass and flowers and everything but the people go into. Rambling around at your leisure. There's not a city in the world where you can act like it. The girls in Dublin are very well made in every way. They have their big long hair. But you're, I suppose, are entitled to that. I, I suppose they're entitled to the long hair if they like it. That's the fashion now. And if they like that, and they're entitled to it.